Nate Phelps from Press Gazette Media here at EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh. We're at the Cirrus Aircraft uh, Exhibition, um, and we've got with us Justin Dillon, one of the regional sales directors, the regional sales director for the Rocky Mountains. Justin, tell us about coming out here to EAA, how important this is to Cirrus uh, and other companies that are out here in terms of business. Yeah, Nate, thanks for having us. Um, EAA to Cirrus Aircraft is the biggest show of the year. We absolutely love coming here. This is our uh, bread and butter for the year. Being local up in Duluth, Minnesota, um, we uh, we just love the uh, the volume of people that come to this show, the quality of folks. You have the, the, the brand new young folks that can get excited about aviation, and then you've got the guys with all the experience in the world. So much to learn here. And, you know, For over 26 years we've been coming to EAA, and uh, this is absolutely means the world to us. Justin, how much business will be direct business that, that happens here this week, and how much of it is, is follow-on sales that happen down the road? Kinda, how does that process work? Yeah, from year to year, it varies. Uh, for us, this year, we have a brand-new product launch of the Generation 5 model. Uh, we've had a tremendous amount of success this year now with a backlog running through the year at this point. Um, for that, we'll actually take quite a few orders here at the show this year, which is very, very exciting. Um, and then from this, we'll get a lot of folks that come in. They see some of these amazing aircraft, beautiful paint jobs that we have, and they get you know the idea in their mind, and they start to think about it. And then we'll continue to work with those folks over the next six months to 12 months. And then at some point, they'll go out and purchase aircraft. And Justin, kind of peering in through some of the, the aircraft here, you can see they've got LCD panels. Uh, there's a couple analog gauges in there, but, but the things have changed quite a bit in the last 10 or 15 years. How much, how different is this industry, and, and how is it evolving at this point? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. You know, I started uh, flying about uh, 16 years ago, learned uh, in, a, in a Cessna aircraft, all round dials. Um, and then as I started with Cirrus in 2001, it was interesting to watch that evolve. The technology is just absolutely amazing. I was privileged enough to deliver one of the first glass panel aircraft in general aviation as I worked in flight training before I got into sales. And um, to see where we've come now, the technology, that situational awareness especially, um, things like synthetic vision and enhanced vision with night vision cameras, um, digital autopilots that have the stability protection, so many safety features, and of course the parachute now, one of the bigger things, um, but in, within the avionics specifically, it's just unbelievable where we've come and the safety that we've brought into this industry in just such a short time frame compared to the growth over the last 50 years, just in the last five years to see things accelerate so quickly. It's so fun to be here right now. What is, what is Cirrus promoting at, at this show? I mean, is there a particular product or, or airframe that you guys are putting emphasis on and getting out to the public? Yeah, the big news is G5, of course, Generation 5 model for us. Um, the number one request we've had for the last 10 years from all of our owners, we love the airplane, we love the speed, the space inside, the safety features. We want more useful load. We want to be able to carry the whole family and full tanks. Finally, we did that. Generation 5, we added 200 more pounds of useful load to the airplane, um, bringing all of that with utility combined together, and we've seen so much excitement within this product this year and at this show. It's just absolutely amazing. Then, of course, we also have the jet. The new Vision jet is coming. Um, where people can see the light at the end of the tunnel. They can see that we're only, you know, coming up two years out, 2015 is our goal for the first delivery. We have over 540-some positions right now on that aircraft, and so it's, it's just got so much excitement. Between those two products, we're so excited to be here. In production, is, is it actually in Duluth? Where, where is production at this point? Yeah, so basically all the components on the airplane, composite material is laid up in Grand Forks, North Dakota. We have a force there that puts all that together. That's then trucked over to our assembly facility uh, over in Duluth, Minnesota. So the core delivery center, those types of things, it's all assembled in Duluth. Um, customer comes in for delivery experience. They go through factory training there at the airplane, um, uh, at the factory, and then uh, they fly home, and we even have instructors to help them home if they need it, that type of thing. So um, most of that's done though here in the United States between Grand Forks, North Dakota and Duluth, Minnesota. Awesome, awesome. Well, great. Well, Justin, I, I tell you what, I appreciate you spending some time with us talking about the aircraft here in, in Cirrus. Um, yeah, and I'm Nate Phelps from Pre the Green, uh, Press Gazette Media, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another three stories for you starting at 11 o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 1 o'clock uh, from the grounds here at EAA Oshkosh. So until tomorrow, we'll talk to you later.